Hey there, this is MathCamp321, and this is going to be a video on taking the derivative of logs with bases other than e. So to start, I just want to remind you of our previous lesson, which was taking the derivatives of natural logs. And that formula was to take the argument, place it in the denominator, and then place its derivative in the numerator. So if you're taking the derivative of the natural log of u, you end up getting u prime over u. But in this lesson, the question is, how do we take the derivative of logs that don't have base e? Let's say it's the log of some argument base 3, or the log of some argument base 7. How do we handle that? Well, to start, let's very quickly review the change of base formula. The change of base formula says if you're taking the log of a base b, that can be rewritten as the log of a over the log of b, or the natural log of A over the natural log of B. Remember that when you're using the change of base formula, the base goes in the basement. So let's take a look at example one just to review the change of base formula. It says evaluate the log of 5 base 3. So one way I can go about doing this is to use the change of base formula and I have two options. One is to use logs and the other is to use natural logs. I'm going to go ahead and use natural logs and rewrite this as the natural log of 5 over the natural log of 3. Now I can go to my calculator and just quickly evaluate this. The natural log of 5 over the natural log of 3. And I end up getting 1.465. So that, that little review of the change of base formula is going to be very handy for our examples here. Let's take a look at example 2. Suppose you wanted to find the derivative for y equals the log of 3x squared plus 5x base 4. Now, I've set the solution up to this problem like it's a two-column proof from geometry. And what's nice about this setup is that I've provided for you the reason for each step. So, number one is just a restatement of the problem, and I'm calling that the given. Step two says rewrite using the change of base formula, the ln version. So I'm going to rewrite this as the ratio of two natural logs. Let's remember that the base goes in the basement. In step three, it says to rewrite the problem with any constants out in front. Now, if you took your calculator and you typed in the natural log of four, it's just a number, so that is a constant. And this particular constant happens to occur in the denominator. So I'm going to remove that and write it out in front in the following way. So I've taken the 1 over ln4 and I've written it sort of out in front, keeping in mind that it is just a constant. Now I'm going to take the derivative of the ln expression. And this is where this rule that we learned the other day comes back into practice. Taking the derivative of ln places the argument in the denominator and its derivative in the numerator. So here we go. y prime, the constant's just going to be rewritten. The argument's going to go in the denominator of the natural log expression. And its derivative is going to go in the numerator, which would be 6x plus 5. And our concluding step is to write as a single fraction. So here was one example of taking the derivative of a log that had some base other than e. Particularly in this case, it was base 4. Let's just take a look at one more example, and I think you'll have it. It's a pretty easy concept. So now we're on our third example, and we are asked to find the derivative of y equals the log of x squared minus 1 over x. Now, keep in mind that this is uh, an implied base of 10. We don't see any particular base written, but we know when that happens it's an implied base of 10. So I'm just going to make that as a little reminder here. Base 10. So the only thing we really have a rule for in terms of taking the derivatives of logs is to take the derivative of a natural log. And at this moment in time we don't have a natural log. We've got a regular log, log base 10. So again, looking at this in the format of a geometric proof, statements and reasons, this will guide us through the process. So step two says to rewrite using the quotient rule for logs. 
So we have here the log of a quotient. So this is going to become the difference of logs. Notice that I put in the base 10 just for emphasis. Step three says to rewrite each expression using the change of base formula using the natural log version. So just as a reminder, when you're implementing the change of base formula, you do have the option of writing it as the ratio of logs or the ratio of natural logs. You always want to go in the route of natural logs in a calculus class because we just have more rules to, to use for natural logs. So I'm going to go ahead and create those ratios for each of these terms. Okay, in step four, we're asked to rewrite each expression with the constant out in front. So we've got two terms here, and one over ln 10 is just a constant. So I'm going to write that out in front in each of those terms. Now keep in mind, we're, on step, we're about to start step five, and we really haven't done any calculus yet. We've just done a bunch of manipulation. But the important thing to realize is that we've got really everything into natural logs. So step five says to take the derivative of the natural log expressions. So since I'm taking a derivative, I will notate that accordingly as y prime. The leading constants that are out in front can just be rewritten. Now when I take the derivative of a natural log, the argument goes into the denominator, and its derivative goes into the numerator. The constants can be rewritten in front. Now I'm going to take the derivative of ln of x, so the argument goes into the denominator, and its derivative goes into the numerator. Now step six says to factor out the constant. So let's note the fact that I've got the same constant in both terms. I've got it here, and I also have it here. So I'm just going to write that out in front just to make it a little bit more simplified. In step seven, we're asked to write the result inside of the grouping symbols as a, as a single fraction. Now the denominator of that single fraction will be x times x squared minus one. Now what I'm missing from this old fraction to look like the new one is an x. And what I'm missing from this old fraction to look like the new one is an x squared minus one. So the new numerator is gonna be two x squared minus x squared plus one. Don't forget that there's a negative here and that negative is gonna be distributed. And our final, final step is to simplify. So we're just about done here. So there you have it. Here are two examples of taking the derivative of log expressions with bases other than e. It's all about using the change of base formula and rewriting these as the ratio of natural logs.